What's up guys, Shamas11 and welcome to Bridge Constructor on the Xbox One. And as always before we begin, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Gregor Ebert from uh, Head Up Games, who is the man responsible for letting me play this game for you guys today. Okay, so... This came out last week. Um, it's taken me a little while to get the footage up um, because uh, this, there's quite a lot to this game, and I do always like to play the games as much as I can, so I can give you know a full um, sort of heads up as as to what the game's about, and and obviously get a full uh, opinion of the game. So um, essentially, we're just building bridges. Now, this may not sound too exciting, uh, but there's a certain charm about this game um, and a real sense of achievement. This has previously been available on Steam and is available on iOS and I do believe Android. Um, I have played this previously before the first section on my iPad. Um, I've also watched Sips do some streaming of, of some of the later levels. So um, I'm really quite pleased this has come to Xbox One. Um, just to start off, I hate to do this, but just to start off with a little negative. For some reason, um, this is... The footage you're seeing now is my very first game, um, my first go on the game, and um, the music is, uh, by default, is set to off, which I didn't realise until much, much later, so hence it's a bit quiet. Um, so, we have a few tools to help us get across. We start off, as always, with a gap, um, and we have to build our road across. We then have to support the bridge uh, by various different means, and we get a few tools to do that with. To start off with, we just get wooden planks um, and a, a fairly simplistic tutorial. Again, possibly a little negative, it does pretty much just leave you to it. But there's not a huge deal you know, that we have to learn. Uh, later on, we get steel, uh, which is obviously works exactly the same way, but it's stronger. Uh, we get big iron cables, so we can make suspension bridges. We also get the ability to make huge concrete pillars, uh, which can't support the bridge as such, but that's what we can use to build off of. Once your bridge is complete, and you think it's strong enough, um, you simply press RB to give it a go, and we can send cars across, which sends two cars, or we can send trucks across, which sends two trucks. Uh, obviously, the trucks are a lot more difficult, um, and that really is, for me, that's the object, is to get the trucks across. The cars are an easy version, so if you are stuck and you want to kind of skip a level and come back to it, you can just send the cars across uh, to unlock the next level. There are five islands to start off with in the first section. Um, once all five are completed, either just with cars or with cars and trucks, we get the ability to send the big tanker over. Now, I will show you the big tanker later. Uh, this requires an awful lot more planning um, as it is ridiculously heavier than the two little trucks going across. And all they have to do is get to that checkered flag on the right hand side, level complete. You have a budget at the top, as you can see. Um, for every part you use, part you build on your bridge, it takes it out of your budget. You cannot go over your budget on this one. Um, on the PC version, the budgets were much higher. Uh, you get a bigger budget on this once you unlock the tanker because it needs much more supporting. <laughs> and when you complete them, you get a score based on uh, of basically how fewer resources you need. Uh, the bonus I'm getting is because I'm sending trucks over instead of cars. Um, here we have a little example of the cables we've used. Uh, and it can be a bit of a moment where you hold your breath and hope. Uh, this is a game of trial and error, I find. I'm not by, by nature a, a person who can build bridges. Uh, you do kind of get these uh, wacky and crazy ideas, otherwise you just end up building the same old simplistic bridge. Um, but uh, sometimes when it goes wrong, it goes pretty spectacularly wrong. I bet he didn't think he'd be starting off back there. But uh, you, you really will, by the time you finish this, uh, you know, the way to get all the way through some of these much trickier levels is you really do have to experiment um, with what you can and can't try. Uh, another kind of heart-stopping moment there as the beginning of the bridge fell down, but I, I built my own suspension bridge uh, out of this crazy kind of leaning idea, and that's the way you've got to think about it. Now, 
once you've done the main five islands, you then open up Slope Mania, the tilting islands. There's three of these, and this really takes it to a completely different level. Here, um, the settings are much more varied, uh, but the type of bridge we're building is no longer just a straight bridge. There are some absolutely wild and crazy things that you have to do to get through, and really you're going to be having to think outside the box um, in comparison to the, the main islands. Um, these are absolutely huge. I mean, the slope on this one is something else. This one took me a lot of attempts. Uh, as for achievements, there are achievements for get cars over every level, get vans over every level, get the tanker over every level. And then there's a few little secrecy ones. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but they are fairly obtainable. Uh, I've put a fair few hours into this, in all honesty. I've been playing this for about four nights, um, and I have five, six hundred G on this. Um, but overall i have found this a very thoroughly enjoyable game one you've definitely got to think about this isn't uh, this isn't the world's most casual game at the same time you you know you can take it at your own pace here we go here's the tanker so this is a level we've just seen uh, i completed everything was fine um with two trucks but stick a tanker on and the weight of it yeah that's going to need quite a bit of work doing to it. And this uh, clip coming up is is how much more work you have to put in to get a tanker across. Uh, it really will keep you thinking. Uh, overall, guys, I really recommend this game. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to be streaming this at some point as well because it's a, a nice little interactive one everyone can think about. Um, highly recommend. Rush out and grab this. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, if you enjoy the game, leave me a little comment down below. Thank you for watching. Till next time.